This man wanted, as some people do, to present himself as some of my best friends are black. I know a lot about black people, and I've been with black people all my life, which is very offensive in its connotation. Very offensive. If you, if you did and you like them, why do you have to pull that out? You don't come in and you say, uh, I, I knew some Spanish people, I knew some Irish people, I knew some English. You don't do that. People are people. And so that friction ran between them. And he was always trying to tell Red how to be funny. That is so stupid for him to have approached that. And he ab approached it with, I'm uh, the producer, one of the producers, and I can tell you how to be funny if I want to. And Red was saying, you don't, you don't even know funny, so you can't tell me something you don't even know. And that was the undercurrent all the time. This particular day, uh, Entertainment Tonight came to interview Red. And so we're rehearsing a scene, and all Red had to do was walk across the back of my chair we're not shooting, we're rehearsing a scene. And uh, of course they sent someone to walk back. And this man says, where is Red? And I said, he's having an interview with Entertainment Tonight. I said, but he doesn't have any lines here. He just has to walk. If he's supposed to walk past, he should be in here to walk past. So he goes in there, stops their shooting and brings Red out. And when Red gets out there and finds out all he has to do is walk across the back of this, that anybody could have done, he becomes livid. And he f falls. Well, he was always doing pride falls. And I thought that's what he did. Everybody thought that's what he did. And he was laying on the floor and I leaned down to him and I put my hands on him. He said, get my wife, get my wife, get my wife, get my I said, somebody get paramedics and somebody go get Mrs. Fox. And they went and got her. And they pronounced him dead. And they put him in the ambulance and we all got in our cars and followed him to the hospital. And he came back and stayed for four and a half hours. Now we're all sitting in the lobby of the hospital and uh, the doctor comes out and says, uh, Mrs. Fox, we've done all that we can do, and your husband is gone. And standing uh, this close were two of the producers, and they said, well, what are we going to do with this script? This script was written for Red and Della, so what, who are we going to get to? who's going to replace. She's sitting right here. They just told her that her husband was dead. And I went crazy. I went absolutely insane on everybody. And uh, got in my car and left. And I made up my mind in that car on the way home that I wasn't ever going to do television that way again because if, if something happened to me and they treated my husband and my daughter that way I'd have to come back and once I go I don't want to come back. They never did treat him with the respect that he should have been uh, should have had. He should have had uh, a, a right out of the show but instead they stuck Jack K in there and she's a wonderful comedian, but th that was not the time nor the place for her to be. They just reached out and got her and sat her in there. And he never got the treatment he needed. He was not uh, phased out of it. Like he didn't get an accident or didn't get sick or something. And so he was no longer in it. Just one day he was there and one day he wasn't.